and this is second our project in within PLC programming uh, basics for beginners uh, on EasySoft 3.0 and today I'm going to illustrate some uh, work with timers let's uh, I'm sorry I opened the Zilio unfortunately yes let's open the EasySoft make some new project and firstly let's click here type the input 1 this is our input 1 and draw to the end and type Q1 its output and uh, we will exactly utilize the push buttons let's change the kinds types of our <coughs> excuse me our uh, buttons to the push button let's draw some feedback if you don't watch the uh, how to basics if you don't know about the uh, the work which we why we utilize the feedback and change the push uh, push button kind of the button uh, go and watch the previous video about the easy soft then we will understand okay and let's run it and see how it works now it works let's reset we have to uh, add some reset button input 2 exactly be careful about the inverse input first one is non inverse but the second input is inverse one it's very important for these reasons let me illustrate it I clicked we have connection and uh, our current passes through out uh, input 2 go to the output one and when I press input 2 it breaks the our connection that's why I utilize the inverse and non inverse inputs here and from here one here we draw the timer timer and click two times and timer situated in this box which name it T we type TT coil one and for this we need the function on delay it's off delay I guess it's a single pulse and some kinds of timers and here we can add the second millisecond hour minutes and something like that we use the second three second and of course accept it then we have to illustrate the output of our timer for this we click the another logic diagram two times and type the t1 three second it exactly the input it exactly the output of timer one and goes to the q2 another output let's run it and be carefully watch carefully this site we will run it we will uh, make connection uh, current passes through here and after three seconds later our timer one will activate it which carefully one two three yes exactly activated and let's try again one two and three activated and this is the basic utilizing of the easy way of using timers here not saved it that's all about timers